again welcome to the zen trap podcast i'm one of your two hosts zen p and i'm yogi lg and today i'll be leading you in a guided meditation uh so please as we usually say there is no wrong way to meditate so if you're on your way to work or driving somewhere or if you're sitting at home working from home or if you're just sitting around in general please use this guided meditation to serve you any way you see fit if it helps you recharge, help you align your energy for the week, or just help you feel more at peace, use it how you please, and again, meditate how you please, whatever feels comfortable to you. So firstly, we'd like to start with just like, what are you grateful for? Like, let's just go ahead and get you in a good mood. Like, for me in particular, I'm grateful for being alive, I'm grateful for having a solid friend group, I'm grateful for my mental space grateful to be able to do this podcast and meditate and I'm, I'm, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to get better each day like to just focus on getting better and trying to uh, be at peace so let's uh, set some intentions for the week uh, whatever you intend to do I, for me I'm focused more on executing this week So I've been trying to put a little bit of strategy together, but I want to do a lot more uh, just executing. And uh, even while I'm executing, relaxing at the same time, if that makes any kind of sense. So just being more aware of my energy and my environment. So I definitely towards the end of this meditation, I'm going to challenge you to do the same. So let's uh, go ahead and get into the meditation. So like I said, if you're driving, if not, you know, however you want to uh sit back and relax whether you want to close your eyes or not you know do your thing i'm probably gonna close my eyes so let's start by getting into a good uh breathing rhythm so right now just focus on your breath take a deep breath in hold it for a little bit one to two seconds and then big exhale So again, you want to find your own nice little rhythm and keep doing that. So big breath in. Hold it. Nice exhale. So again, we're just going to do that. Just just keep repeating that, focusing on your breath. If you need to count, count if you need to, but you, you just want a nice big breath in. Hold it for a little bit. Exhale. As you do that, I just want you to keep focusing on breathing. Don't focus on anything else right now. And remember, part of the process is refocusing. So if you feel yourself losing focus, just tap right back into it, focusing on that breath again. Big breath in. Hold it. Big breath out. I just want you, as you're focusing on your breath, just focus where your, where your mind goes. If you have thoughts, like, don't try and judge those thoughts right now. Just be an observer of your thoughts. Just think of your thoughts as clouds right now, just passing by. And just focus on your breath. Big breath in. Hold it. Breath out. Again, just focus on your breathing. Focus on how your body feels, how your mind feels. What's your energy state for today? If you had to say from a one to five before you were doing this meditation, how are you feeling? As you again keep focusing on your breath, if you're if your number was low, think about what what made me feel so low energy to start my day. Keep 
again, focusing on your breath. Today could be the best day of your life if you perceive it to be that way and if you expect it to be. It could be the best day you've ever spent on this planet if you focus and perceive it to be that way. Keep focusing on that breath. And again, all in your perspective. If you believe it to be, today can be the best day of your life. Let's think about that for a second. What could make today the best day of your life? How could you attribute to that? How can you manifest that energy? And if you don't, if you already don't believe it's possible to be the best day of your life, how could it ever be? You don't have to wait for the weekend to have a good day. Why don't you try giving yourself permission to have a good time internally? Despite the circumstances, despite the energies around you, despite the weather, you control your day and you say you're going to have a good day. Let's keep focusing on that breathing. Big inhale. Hold it in. Exhale. you to affirm yourself and say today will be the best day of my life today nothing could change my mood today I will be more aware of my own energy and how it changes in the environments I'm in Today I will be better than I was yesterday. Today I won't judge anyone, I will focus on me. So again, as you're focusing on your breath, I want you to just slowly start bringing yourself back as I continue to talk to you about awareness this week I want you to focus on being aware just for some moments throughout the day I heard a TED talk long story short where a guy was saying the moments he likes to choose to be focused on the present just as a reminder is when somebody asks him how is he doing or how's your day which you know you probably get asked that multiple times throughout the day how's your day going Let that be a trigger to internally really ask yourself, how am I feeling right now? On a scale of one to five, if five was, I feel like the best I've ever felt, high energy, and one is, oh, I can't, can't bear to do anything. When somebody asks you that, I want you to internally grade yourself, and then if you got anything less than a five, ask yourself why. Why can't you be at a five right now? What's holding you back from being at a five and is there anything that you can do about it? If it is, do it. If it's not, breathe, focus. Figure out how you can fix it for the next time and, and, and continue about your day. This is the type of awareness I want you to start to have for your energy and choosing how you respond. You get to choose how you respond to people. I'm not saying some people don't deserve to get fussed out or whatever but don't let somebody else have emotional control over you let you be able to choose to do that wholeheartedly and only you can grade that for yourself 
Only you can determine if somebody got the best of you emotionally. Or if your emotions got the best of you versus you felt the emotions, you owned the emotions, you understood why you felt those emotions from whatever it was that triggered those emotions. And you chose how to react. This could be done quickly. This could be done over a long period of time. You get to choose all of that if you believe it. So again, I want you to go out there and conquer your week. Own it, manifest it. Know it's going to be there and act like you already. Don't act like you own it. Know that you own it. Know that it's going to happen. And just move as such. And this has been another guided meditation from the Zen Trap Podcast. I want you to go out there, protect your peace and protect your energy. And may peace be with you. We out. Protect your energy. Protect your peace. 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 Protect your energy. Yogi LG drop. Yogi LG drop. Yogi LG drop. Yogi LG drop.